Hey guys, DE Nutty here, and I am here with Zatami. Hello. Zatami. And Zatami, you just had a pretty amazing run at DE, didn't you? Thank now you. tell us who you beat to uh, get your position. Uh, like I guess all of them that I can remember. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, the ones I can remember off the top of my head were like recent, like uh, past the top 32 mark, I guess, was um, it's going to be Ludo. I beat him 2-1. The H for DS two O, which felt amazing because I honestly didn't expect that at all. Um, and then um, Clue, which is a Terry, um, not Terry, Kazuya player, really good, really fun. He's a really cool guy. Um, Lumekos was um, the person I had to beat for entering top thirty two, I believe. Um, the rest before that was kind of a blur. Someone like I think Captain Carson was another person. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And Ludo and H four DS, uh, Ludo being the DE eighteen champion and H4DS being the person he had to beat in Grands to uh, get that championship. So that's, that, that, was, that was really impressive. And when I heard that, that was, I was a pop-off. I was like, yeah, I, I mean, I was like, who the hell is this guy? But <laughs> amazing run, honestly. Um, and you are from Oregon, correct? Uh, yeah, technically from Vancouver. So like, oh, okay. yeah, like right above there. Yeah. yeah. And do you travel, do you go to mostly Oregon majors then? Uh, mainly Oregon events, yeah. Um, I think Seattle's probably the furthest um, I've been considering going to semi-consistently for like big events like this. Um, I would travel to some more bigger events. Like I did plan to go to Genesis 8. Uh, it got delayed, but I still plan on going when it happens. Um, but yeah, the rest I'm not too sure yet, but I'll probably consider some more, yeah. yeah. So is this kind of the first big, uh, I guess, out of region or out of state tournament that you've been to so far or like bigger? I've been to Port Priority. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, so that was my first major and my first big, big event. Um, it was really, really fun. Uh, I got to meet like the same people I met there at here, and same some similar people I played against too. I think I played against Ludo in Port Priority as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was really cool. And how did your success in Port Priority match up to your success here at DE19? Did you kind of get a similar standing, or did you really just knock it out of the park here? I think I kind of like knocked it out of the park here. Like, I definitely I had like a much tougher bracket run because from poor priority, I honestly had a bit of bracket luck. I got two DQ wins right at the beginning. Um, right afterwards, I had to fight a Link, then Pyramithra. Afterwards was Ludo, who I lost to, and then I fought. Um, I forget who I fought in losers. It was a Greninja player, I think. And then I fought Cyan, the Palu. I think he was here today too. Um, but yeah. Yeah, and uh, I mean, now that you've got a little bit of experience, definitely in both Oregon and now in Washington, what do you think of the future of the Pacific Northwest in terms of the Smash team? Like like how it grows or? Yeah, how it grows. I mean, how you want to be a part of it, you know, your future in it and <clears throat> how you see it growing in the future. Yeah, I think there's a lot of growth going. I'm actually like really enjoy it here. I think it's a really nice scene. Seattle is really awesome. Oregon's full of like a really friendly and like amazing people. So like entering there for like the first time at the start of last year was when I first started going events consistently. Like they're all like really welcoming. They're all really cool people. Um, like a lot of people I barely talked to just like hyping me up like as I was playing earlier was really nice. So yeah, um, I think like for me, I guess, um, I want to keep like playing and competing, probably like represent my character for the region. Since I know there's a couple of us, there's like Pants, uh, TKG, Ryan, I think is another one. Can't think of any more, but yeah. And you play Bowser Jr., correct? Bowser Jr. What do you think of, you know, that character's viability and, uh, like, any problem matchups that you, you really worry about all too often and, and you know, especially with the uh, diversity of characters in the PNW? Yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> he's definitely... I've been thinking this for, like, a long time as I was learning the game and the character. But he's, like, pretty underrated, I would say. Um, not super underrated from how well I think he is, like, compared to the rest of the cast, but definitely up there to be someone you shouldn't, like, just sleep on. Like, he's got the tools, he's got the, like, punishes and stuff to, like, work, especially against characters that you would consider, like, really rough for him. Um, for example, like, Pikachu when I was playing H4DS, like, it's a really, considered probably the, either the worst or, like, second worst for the character from what I've got from other junior players. Um, but, like, it's still doable with, like, what he has though hard but there's yeah there's just lots of optimization so like i myself i've been like labbing the character too and trying to spread information about him so yeah awesome and uh do we expect to see you back up here for de20 in march 
Uh, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. Um, I'm assuming it's on the Saturday again. Uh, yeah, it's usually on a Saturday. Yeah, yeah, if it's on the Saturday, I most definitely could. I don't know if anything will come up yet, of course, but I definitely would like to. It was a really fun experience. Awesome. Is there anything else that's coming up for you or anything that you want to plug? Um, plug. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you plug. have, like, a stream or anything? I'll plug my Twitter. I, I mean, I stream, but, like, it's on my Twitter, so just Twitter is, uh, um, at underscore Zatami, and that's my Twitter. Awesome. Well, thanks for sitting down, and uh, congratulations on an awesome bracket run. Yeah, thank you.